You are the only person who can accurately figure out how many calories you should be eating each day to lose weight, maintain your weight, or build muscle. And you should never use a calorie calculator until you understand what I'm about to tell you. If you're new here, my name is Mateo, and I've lost 50 pounds now twice in my life. I've spent the last eight years coaching guys to help them lose weight and get in shape using a simplified approach to nutrition and training. If you've seen my videos before, welcome back. Every single day, I get 10 or 20 messages or comments saying, hey, Mateo, I'm this old, I'm this tall, I'm this active, I'm this heavy. Should I eat this many calories to get me towards my goal? And the reality is, I don't know for sure. Right? Even a highly sophisticated online calorie calculator, like my free one that's been downloaded by 5,000 people in the last 30 days, you can grab that using the link in the description box. Even that is just an estimation. They're using formulas like the Catch McArdle formula or the Mifflin St. Jor formula, which are scientifically developed by looking at a huge data set of people and saying, okay, on average, people who are this tall and this height and whatever, they burn roughly this many calories based on their factors. Okay? But in any case, there's going to be a distribution, a standard distribution and genetic variance within there. So some people are going to burn roughly 5% more calories on either side of that. Some people may burn 10%, 20%, 30% more calories than the average. So it's just an estimation to start. And on top of that, when you start eating for fat loss, you start eating fewer calories than your body burns each day, your body is going to adapt. It's going to start burning fewer calories in response to that reduction in energy. You'll stop just being as warm each day, you'll probably start feeling a little bit less, you know, active and energized. You may feel a little bit lethargic, which is just your body's normal way of trying to maintain that homeostasis or that balanced state. I just start tapping my foot less. I'm just less energized, right? And in some people, that response is small. It's just burn 50 fewer calories each day or, you know, two to 5% less calories burned each day when they start eating for fat loss. And in some people, it's a massive response, 20%, 30%, 40% fewer calories every single day when they stop eating as much as they need just to maintain their weight. So even if these calorie calculators were 100% accurate on the front end, we still have this other genetic variance on the back end, which is your metabolic adaptation in response to the dieting process and energy restriction, right? So you can't just ask me how many times you should water your lawn and how many times you should cut it because I don't fucking know the weather in Florida. I don't know what kind of grass you have. I don't know, you know how fast it grows over there. I don't know what season it is. The reality is this. You need to stop getting just estimations and bring this into the real world, okay? Here's my philosophical conundrum with this. At any point, you're going to need to bring this data into the real world and actually start eating this many calories if you want to lose the weight you want to lose. So stop just fucking looking at this calculator and saying, okay, yeah, I think it's 2,500. I don't know. Is this right? Is this right? Just stop. The only way to know for sure is to bring that 2,500 calories into reality, eat that many calories consistently for the next two weeks, and track your body weight data. If on average it's moving down in the right direction, you're losing weight. Good work. If it's maintaining after two weeks, reduce the calories by 10% and you'll go from there, right? So it's not just about like, okay, what do I think is right? It's actually grounded in fucking reality. And I can't tell you exactly how many. You need to figure this out for yourself. And until you do, there is really no way for you to find out for certain. Nobody is gonna be able to tell you this until you figure it out with your own body. It's a journey of self-experimentation. You are the project and you have to be your own coach sometimes. So go take initiative and figure this out for yourself. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you wanna grab my free weight loss calculator, linked in the description box, the first link there. And be sure to subscribe to the channel so I can see you in the next one. Peace.